we're going to be talking about the agave and these names that we use for the yucca plant is called manat. How many of you have been hiking and seen this plant? Oh yeah, a lot of times they have a real hard sticker on them, don't they? And these are the flowers that come up on the plant. And in the spring they start blooming this flower. This plant is actually part of the lily family. And the flower, when it comes up like this, it starts growing a fruit. And when it ripens, these will fall off the flower part of it and inside you'll have a, a banana. And you can pick them and if they're ripe, you let them ripen and you wash them and then you bake them in a roasting pit. Yucca plant was used for a lot of things because it has an astringent in it. This bulb right here is called a taproot. And when that root grows, it grows real deep into the ground because we live in a very arid place where the roots just don't crawl out because there's no rain, there's no water. The only place that that root can go is real deep into the ground, so it's called a tap root, and it grows like a bulb. And what happens is that it has a real nutritious bulb on it, and when and you can use that bulb, and it has an astringent in it, and it's astringent is like a soap. And here's that bulb right here and you can cut it up and use it as soap. You could use it to wash your face, a wound, your eyes, sores, wash your hair, because it's made a real lathery sud on it. And then the fiber, this plant actually, this spears right here was used for fiber. And the fiber would be pounded down and dried and it could be made into ropes. And one of the things that was used for was the yucca sandal. We make ropes out of it to tie our blankets and put our clothing on top of the, the saddle. And we tie, use that to tie it with. And we use that for a lot of things, for ropes. A lot of work that we do all the time. Every day we work. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't easy having these things. Not like today, you can go to the store and buy your food and go and get a banana. But bananas aren't really from here. We're, we you were eating was the banana yucca, that plant here. Mm -hmm. Let's take a moment to talk about the VL because we're going to be working with the VL over here too. The VL is the agave. Yeah. You've seen these, these agaves. They're a little smaller but they have a real tall cane that grows in the middle of it. And the agave would be before it became a tall stalk in the middle because what happens is that that tall stalk grows up into a flower in a bloom. But you don't want it to go to that bloom because all the sugar in that plant goes up into that flower. So wall pies would look for the, the agave well, it was just still tiny cane, just barely coming out of the plant and harvest it because all the sugar was in that tap root. Mm -hmm. And so it comes out and it's like this bulb and you cut all those, all of that hard uh, uh, leaves off of it and then you have this. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like, what does it look like to you? Pineapple? Yeah, and then inside it would be really soft and then it would bake. Now sometimes you get the smaller agaves with the small heart. It would only take maybe 24 hours, but some of them are real big and they've come up like that big. They'd cook them for like three days. They cooked them for three days up in, up in the Yavapai over there where press get in. And then once it would come out, and then they would start digging it out of the pit and then once it came out, you could slice it and we have it right here. We'll taste what it tastes like. It's real sweet. A lot of your root plants, things that you get from the root, the bulbs, are usually real sweet and have a lot of complex carbohydrate. So that was what that was. It was a root. It was really sweet. And we're going to work with it. We're going to make some butter with it. Okay? So this is called the, uh, the agave and then the mana for our banana yucca. So let's go ahead and come over here and we're going to start working with our banana yucca in, a, in our station. Cut them in half. 
like that. Okay. Now, when you cut them in half, you're going to see some black seeds in the middle of it. Just put the seeds, put the seeds in there, and then we'll go from there. And then there's a little fiber, fiber is this that the meat? you want to take off too. No, this is the meat right here. That part. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then you can <laughs> scrape your seeds out like this. And then see this fiber? Take that off too and just put it to the side. Yeah, just put it to the side. There you go. Okay, now what you're wanting to do is you want to put all those seeds in here. Because you know what we can do with these seeds? If we hold on to them, let them dry out, we can actually make jewelry out of those seeds. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and scoop those seeds in there because we want to get all the seeds out. See this fiber? Take all that out. And then you just want the meat. You don't want none of this extra stuff on there. So take that out. Clean it real good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because what we're going to do is we're going to cut these, put it in this bowl. As soon as it's really clean and put it in that bowl, we're going to put it in our bread. Real nice. Yeah. Mm. Make my mouth water. Here, taste some. Taste some. It's real good. All your good pieces go in there. Are they doing good? Mm hmm. Very delicious. Mm hmm. The animals all eat that too. The cows, the horses. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. The coyotes, mm -hmm. the mountain sheep. All the animals eat it. And uh, the um, desert tortoises eat it. Okay. All right. Let's hurry up, hurry up, hurry up here, wipe your hands. Okay, because we're going to go to our next project, because we need to make our cornbread real quickly here. Come on. Okay. It is, isn't it? Want to taste it? Here, taste it. Because we're going to use this in our bread. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go over here. Let's back up over this way. Let's stand over here. Yes? So what we're going to do is we're going to add this to a cornbread recipe. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to cook it and bake it with it. So why don't you come over here and you're going to do the cornbread. And everybody's going to help make cornbread. Uh, what you do is you take it out. Take it out and you just go. Okay, that's a good... One cup of flour. Pour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one cup of corn. Cornmeal. It's way back there. That's what you use for corn. Cornbread. Corn buns. No, no. That one. Yeah. That one. I got it. One cup of cornmeal. Is it good? Here, wait a minute, a little bit more. Okay. We're going to put it in. Yeah. A half a cup of some sugar right there. Be careful and pour it in. Okay, when you guys use measuring, this one is a tablespoon, teaspoon. One teaspoon of salt. Yes. Careful. Okay. And then two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder. I mean, three. Two. Three and a half. I can't see. There. 
Broaden. Broaden my cooking water. Okay, now stir, stir them all up real good. It's funny, sometimes it'll be laughing. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put in one egg. One, one egg. egg in the dungeon. We need one cup of milk. Here, milk. Okay, get your milk in there. Oh, you guys, give me one cup. Here, here, one cup. Cup, 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 cup. Okay, go ahead. Now that's a good. And then one third cup of oil. The bottom, the bottom. Uh oh, I'm coming over here. Okay. Okay, stir it up real good. All right, now what we're gonna do? Where's our? Where is our manat? Where's the manat? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and add this. I'm not gonna put the whole thing, but we're gonna make it real sweet. Okay, go ahead, start it. Oh, yummy. Yummy. Okay, now what I need from you is I want you to go ahead and hands in there and just rub that real mm -hmm. good. And get that really oily, yeah. even on the sides, okay? Me? You. Me? One of you, yeah. I'll do it. Rub it all the way, even around the top and. Hey, I'm going to beat you. That's good enough. That's good. Then you just take it and go. Oh, thank you. Oh. And it just finishes it up. Let's see. Look at the seat. Now let's go ahead and put the corn bread in here. Corn bread. Mm. Now we put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do the bread. Good. This is bread. It'll turn into bread. Oh, and then you're going to do the other thing? Mm-hmm. Now what I want you to do is not to scrape the bowl, the pan, but just kind of fluff it to where it goes to the end. Okay, yeah, maybe sure. you guys can do that. Can you let these guys do it and then you go wash your hands? Okay, just kind of fluff it to the end like that. Okay, here. Well, we're gonna we're gonna make all and then what I do before I put it in, I just kind of give it a little shake. So it kind can of leaves it out, open the oven. Okay, guys, look at. We're going to put it in the oven now. It's going to cook between 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so let's put it in there. All right, now let's go over here to the agave. The restroom. The restroom. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this. All right, let's take a look at this. This is the agave, the VL. I know it wasn't there. That's just for us. What we do is some of us would we cook it, we make it, we drink it. Food out there tastes a lot richer and different out in the wilderness. The food you eat out there, out here in town, it makes you sick. Later on, they start getting, having heart problems, high blood pressure, stomach pain, everything happens to people. Same food they eat all the time. Like your soda pop, your um, Kool-Aid, those things make you sick. Yeah. Very good. That's how you're making that butter. I think that's the one that's uh, holding the middle. The middle part. Here. Yeah. Does it? Oh, yeah. It's this. What is this supposed to be? It's called VL. Oh, mm -hmm. do I eat it too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, you can eat it like that. Uh, our candy. Okay. I'm going to take mm -hmm. this piece. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see, look at You just take a piece oh, like this. This is the fiber, this stuff here. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. well, you want to just take it. Uh, streams. Uh -huh. Just chew it. 
And then when you get all the good stuff out of it, you can swallow the juice that comes out of it. And then you just take the little ball like that and throw it away. You can chew it all day like that. You can figure out what you're doing. You're getting a complex carbohydrate out of it. Uh -huh. I mean, chew it like a piece of gum. Yeah. That's a good way to say it. You don't swallow your gum, but you chew it because you have a lot of good stuff in it, huh? Flavor. Mm -hmm. Like that. I used to come over here, and I want you just to scrape the bottom like this. I want you to taste that. That's the butter of that. Taste it. Taste it. And this is the consistency we want to get all of it out of there. All we want is the... It's like apple juice. Uh, apple sauce. Kind of. Mm -hmm. right. It keeps... keeps it. Now, if they were working with this with a, with a um, matate, they would be doing it like that, grinding it mm, yeah. to make it really mushed. Yeah. You want to mush it. The only thing we're doing with this is we're using a more contemporary way of uh -huh. mushing it down. But you would use a matate too. And then what do you do with the leftover? You just put it in You just boil it. Uh-huh. And uh, clean out the fiber, clean it out, and you drink it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would be like drinking yeah. cider, yeah. apple cider. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look and see how we're doing. See that? Take this and scrape the bottom. And that's what we wanted to do, exactly that. Let's make this better here. Thank you. Alrighty, you should remember vocabulary for agave, mezcal agave, vial, ida, uh, the stem that's in the center of the vial, thavs, the blossom, yak, to gather, nuk, to roast, awi, stones or rocks, here are a couple of sentences we did. Manj vial nyuk nyukit The children are standing around where they are roasting the mescal agave. Viala yak yochkwa. They are gathering the mescal agave together. Tavsatop tam yaj muichkwa. Before blossoming is the time they gather the mescal agave. Next, we have vocabulary for banana yaka, manat. Manat, banana yaka. Avon, soap. To twine, squid. Fiber, fat, the seeds, yach. Sentences we did, manat miyal yogwa. She is making banana yaka bread. Gwesquit manatam yogwa. A rope is made used with the banana yaka fibers. Manat yaja yochkwa. They are removing the seeds. Manat siljikwa. They are roasting the banana yaka.